are going to pray a little. No man can help himself except the Holy Ghost comes. He has been spent, sent specifically to help our weaknesses. No man, no man, no man. The earlier we realize, the more we realize, we cry out early. Help me. Help me, Jesus. Help me. Help me. We are going to pray for the next two minutes and ask him, help me to pray. I don't even know how to. Help me. Help me. Help me. The one I prayed the last five minutes is not enough for me to pray now. Help me, Holy Ghost. So brande pa ka brande le pa katia sa sa brande le ka brande. Sa pa sa pa bra ka pa koli a da pa na te. Si siente ka pa sa brande pa sa pa 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 la. A pa pa si ante kamba pa pa brande le te preto ka pa pa te. Amore ka pa 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 ka pa te. Ai ka pi a ka pa pa brande le te te na. Holy Ghost, I 
We can't do business at our level. We have to do business at God's level. So the Holy Spirit carries us into the place that God is doing the business. If not, you can just think you prayed, but I mean, you did not come into the spiritual environment that God has ordained to administrate for. And unless a man comes there, you can just finish and feel that you did not meet up with the measure. It's not... There is time in it, but there is a, a depth. There is something you need to strike. Once you strike it, you will know you have achieved what God ordained through this prayer. And it has to be from a depth. From a depth. Can we pray again for two minutes? For two minutes. Go as deep as you can. Go as deep as you can. I refuse to stay on the surface. I go deep, I go deep. I can hear my name. The spirit is calling. Somebody pray, somebody pray. I pay your car, I pay your car, I pay your car, I pay your car, I pay your car. 
If you have a neighbor beside you, hold his hands. Let's share grace. Oh my God, something is happening. 
statement is is an indictment on us. It's an indictment in the sense that many of the things we are hoping that God should do, we have already said that the creation is waiting for us. Not just us, the manifestation of us. Hmm. So, why are we waiting for God to come in our situation, in our family, in our generation. Meanwhile, God himself is waiting on us. Not just us. Our generation is waiting on us. The Bible said in verse 20, for the, for the creature was made subject to vanity, not willingly, but by the reason of him who subjected the same in hope. There is There is a wisdom that came into oppression. There is a superior wisdom that God has. Many times when God allows certain things to come around our life, He allowed such in hope. That is what happened when man fell. The Bible said every other thing was allowed to be subject to vanity because He has hope. That if at all we begin to do something concerning 
our life and on our affairs. Every other thing around our life will begin to respond to the business of our altar. Meanwhile, many of the time, what made us to begin to pursue God is probably because we are looking for a job, probably because things are not going well in your family, probably because there are a few things that you expected. That is how God draws. But He's hoping that those circumstances that drew us huh, will be something that will be a vehicle, an access point into the mighty liberation that he wants to bring. A season will come, you will now look at your life and you will find out that that first reason why you came is not actually any reason at all. That there are many, many, many big things that have been lined up under it such that when you brood on that first thing, every other thing becomes a consequence of aligning to the demands that it takes for God to come. So God checked it. And then he brought you to a certain point in your life where the only way out is to pray. And then when you begin to pray, suddenly you notice that you have a calling. This is something you are not aware before. You are not aware of. You just had a need and you came. When you begin, begin to pray about your need, suddenly your mother, your father, your family will become born again. These are the things that God subjected to hope. Hoping that sons will arise and take take responsibility and begin to brood on matters. There is fire burning in my heart. And I'm hoping that as many people as are seeing me, we have the same body. We have so much to do. God is depending on us. He has to bring us to this point where we don't have any other option but to come to the place of prayer. You know so many of us, you know how many years we ran away from prayer. We ran and ran and ran. We did many things. We sowed seed. We did many things that we make us think that we even said that this prayer thing is for others, that there are people that are called into business. <laughs> Every man is called to the altar until you start your business and you find out that Satan will bring you down. That's when you find that you still need prayer even in business. There is no running away. It's not for pastors. It's not for people that preach. That's how men live. Men live by priesthood. And God is hoping that when we obey the first command, then every other thing will begin to align as a result of the fact that we came to the Lord. Creation is subject in hope. My family, my brother, my sister, Nigeria is subject. We can be praying and groaning and traveling. Many times we don't think it's our need. But you will not know that that time you are groaning and traveling, you are saying, you are saying, Lord, Lord, Sokoto, Sokoto, let your revival come there. Let your revival come there. Because when you finish, you come and you feel a release in your heart. But your need has not changed. But you have a release in your heart as a witness that God has done something. But your circumstances did not change. It will mean that there is something God subjected many things in hope that you will continue. Okay? Look at what the Bible said there because we are going to pray. I'm just here to I'm looking for prayer points. So when we get prayer points, we begin to pray. Information is educating. Prayer is applicating. So if you, you can know many things if you don't pray, you will not see many of them manifest in your life. And if you know too much, and then there is nothing manifest in your life, very soon you will be frustrated. Verse 21, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the sons of God. Now, verse 22 is where my, my emphasis begins. He said, For we know that the whole creation groaneth. You are listening to me online. You need to say groaneth. 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 You are now seeing. One day I went to God and I asked him, 
what is this thing about this matter of groaning and traveling? Because I've noticed that including Jesus, whenever he wants to do something that is so important, you will see him switch mode and go to groanings and traveling. It is because this world is broken. Creature is subject to God. And God has ordained that if creature will come into alignment and begin to function the way God ordained it, then people have to groan and travel. The reason is because the frequency that creature things on earth operate on now huh, is the frequency of groaning and travel. So if we are going to meet creature and meet things at its frequency, then we too have to come to the place of groaning and traveling. Then we begin to operate at the same frequency. Look at what the Bible said. For creature, because the creature itself also shall be delivered from the bondage of corruption into the glorious liberty of the children of God. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain. In pain together until now. So we are going to trust God. There is a good spirit within me, oh. I go near not I go near not I the grow I go Yeah, not I the grow There is a good spirit within me, oh I pray, cannot I the flesh? I pray, cannot I the pray? There is a praying spirit within me, oh, oh Jesus. Baptize me and flesh with the spirit of I pray, hear not I the prayer. I pray, hear not I the prayer. There is a praying spirit within me, oh.
outside of God. There is a Holy Spirit within me. Oh. Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost, Holy Ghost. I grow the end of I grow. I grow the end of I grow. There is a Holy Spirit within me. Oh. Somebody let loose in the spirit. Let the chambers of your soul and spirit begin to open. God wants to feel it. God wants to feel the depth of you. The chambers. There are places and vows that are going to be open in your heart. The Holy Ghost wants to pour a hole there and begin to feel it. My God. There is a Holy Spirit within me. We grow, so that we come. We grow, 
the tabernacle in the book of Ezekiel chapter 47 he said the river went out and he said whithersoever the river cometh even if the land is sick 
All you need is to generate rivers with us wherever you come to your church, to your nation, to your work, your assignments, your family, including that your prayer points. It is not a prayer point. It is just allow the rivers to come on. God wants to activate men into depths of prayer and holy travail. Then he can achieve what he wants to do on time. When you grow, you move. You move at the, the speed of an aircraft. A cargo aircraft can carry a, can carry cars in it and still be flying at it. The reason is because of growing. When Jesus wants to achieve something fast at the Garden of Gethsemane, the Bible said he prayed until. I'm not sure we have reached help with Jesus to be humble in the prayer. See, we overrate our prayer life. And that is why we need to ask him to help us to pray. After praying, being in prayer ministry for 10 years, some years ago, God told me, He to come, let me teach you prayer. I said, What have I been doing all this while? That means that it takes more to break into what will change our society. Clutch. There is a praying spirit within me, oh. I am a I'm not the one. You are not the one. Satan can get you to think you are the one. That's why you are weak every day. You are off today. You are on. You are you are, you are 30 minutes today. 50. It's because you are still the one. There is a praying spirit within me, oh. If I come and it's not working, I, I start asking, where are you, Holy Ghost? Where are you? Where are you? We need to pray now. Where are you? 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 Come alive. Come alive. Quick me. I, I began to call him. Pray, come on him. Jesus was in the boat and he was about to capsize. Until the apostles cry, we perish. And then Jesus rose up like this. The Holy Ghost is there. He can carry you and carry as long as you are willing to go. If only you can ask him wickedly. Obey his spirit. Holy Ghost. I want to read up a place. Then when we pray, God will begin to bring new activations in our lives. If you are there, you are there. If you are not there, you are not there. You can only be moving in the place. But when the depths of prayer, growing to obey comes, sometimes you will want to be normal. But it will seem as if it's better than somebody that wants to be better. Pain will hold you. Nothing good and great comes into this realm without some pain. Including spiritual things. For we know that the whole creation groaneth and traveleth in pain together until now. Not only they. But ourselves also. Are you getting the point now? The Bible said that the creation travel, we join them. What is it? We join them in groaning and traveling. If you refuse to join, if you refuse to meet the creature at the point of his travel, you can stay in a city for, for 100 years. You can't meet the energy that can change the topography. It's not even your society. You can't meet the energy that can transform men. Can't meet the energy. You can't meet the energy. You can do in 10 years what the Holy Spirit can do in just one year. Simply because you refuse to, to yield to the pain of travail. Travail is pain, groaning is pain. You pain your soul, it will pain your body. But when you come and you look at the level that you have done in this, it's much level. Much level. But when you level like that, the Holy Spirit is happy. Because that is the only way the Holy Spirit will teach you the intensity of his work. A man that doesn't know the way of bodies, groanings and traveling, 
doesn't know the intensity of the work of the Holy Spirit. He doesn't know what it takes the Holy Spirit to do the work of transformation in the heart of people. Somebody that is wayward, the Holy Spirit begins to grow. When we are growing, it is not we. We just partnered and joined the Holy Spirit in his ministry. There is exclusivity of ministry given to the Holy Spirit when it pertains to travel and grow. A man can only enter there when he enters into the ministry of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps us, helps us, helps us. If not, if you do it in the natural, your intestine will go. But when the Holy Spirit comes, sometimes, I don't know, many of you, it has happened to you, it will seem as if you are suspended. Until you are true, you will now become normal. That's the Holy Ghost. And not only they, but us, ourselves also, we have the first fruits of the Spirit. Are you seeing? The Holy Ghost came and then brought us into the ministry of traveling and growing. Okay? Even we ourselves grow. of travel and growth. As we are praying now, I saw some sisters that is holding, they are following us now. They are holding hands together and they are joining us in this prayer. The sisters are holding hands together and joining us. They are holding hands. And the power of God is going to hit them and then drag them first into the depth in prayer. There are depths in prayer and possibilities that can come out of it. It's dependent on where you are operating. Depths. We are going to pray for two more minutes. Ah, what time is Jesus. We groan within ourselves waiting for the adoption to wait the redemption of our body. For we are saved by hope, but hope that the sin is not hope. For what a man seeth, why doth he yet hope for it? But if we hope for that we see not, then we with patience wait for it. You are following me online or anywhere and you have your Bible. Let me read verse 26 together. Likewise, the Spirit helpeth our infirmities. For we know not, number one, what we should pray for. Number two, how we ought to pray. For the Spirit maketh positions for us with groanings that cannot be uttered. Three, challenges of prayer. We don't know what we pray for. We don't know how to. Even when we know how to, we don't have energy. We have come to the place of giving birth and there is no strength. And we pray in the next one minute and ask God, baptize us with strength and energy so that we will be able to birth for things in the spirit. There is a praying spirit within me. As you pray, there will be activation. Pay attention now. The angels of the living God are one. There is a very spirit within me. The angels activate. Activate. There is a very spirit within me. There is a very spirit within me. It's coming, it's coming. It's coming. Just press a little, you will see. Angels will begin to touch you. You see, soon as if somebody is tapping you on your pocket, 